In this video, we'll be demonstrating the steps involved when donning biological PPE for Ebola patient care as used by the Nebraska Biocontainment Patient Care Unit. The donning process is a step-by-step -step process that ensures good infection control and safety. All steps should be done systematically and in the correct order. A donning partner should assure all equipment is properly applied. You will need the following equipment. A surgical gown, a surgical cap or hair cover, a standard hair cover, a face shield, standard patient gloves, surgical boot covers, an N95 respirator, either the blue style or the trifold style, a pair of long cuff purple nitrile gloves, a trash receptacle, an autoclave bag or a biohazard bag, a roll of duct tape, a splash protection apron. Optionally, you can use protective eyewear if desired. At least eight fluid ounces of a non-caffeinated beverage and hand sanitizing gel. A donning partner should assure that all donning steps are completed properly by assisting with securing ties, taping, or strap placement if necessary. The donning process should start with the healthcare professional performing hand hygiene. Next, they should change into scrubs and washable footwear. All jewelry should be removed. This includes rings, watches, necklaces, and earrings. The donning partner should now take and record the healthcare professional's temperature. Before beginning the process of donning your PPE, you should drink about eight fluid ounces of a non-caffeinated beverage. You are likely to be wearing the PPE for several hours. The PPE can make you feel warm and may cause dehydration. The first piece of PPE you should don are the boot covers. They should be securely tied at the ankle. Your head covering comes next. You can use a regular hair covering. This can be pulled down over the ears for extra coverage. For extended periods of use, a surgical cap has been found to provide a more comfortable experience. This will also provide additional coverage around the head and neck. The surgical cap should be securely tied in a bow at the back of the head on the nape of the neck. The surgical gown should be donned next. You must make sure that it is not inside out. The upper part of the gown should be secured at the neck. The lower parts of the gown should be tied at the back using simple bows. Once tied, make sure the gown fits well and covers the intended areas. Once the gown is applied, you should again perform hand hygiene. The next step is respiratory protection. You should be using an N95 respirator. The blue style masks have been causing skin breakdown on the nose. The white trifold style N95 masks have been found to be more comfortable for long-term use. The mask should be sealed to your face to ensure a proper fit. Correct strap placement is vital to ensure the mask stays in place while being worn. The top strap should be located at the crown of the head, and the bottom strap should be located at the base of the neck. Make sure that the straps are not crossed as this may cause the respirator to shift on the face during patient care. 
Finally, perform a fit check of the respirator by breathing deeply in and out, feeling for any air leakage with your hands. Eye protection is the next step and comes in the form of a face shield. The shield should be worn over N95 straps and the surgical cap. Make sure the face shield and head covering overlap, thus protecting the forehead. If desired, the healthcare professional can wear protective eyewear underneath the face shield for additional protection. Perform hand hygiene one more time before the gloves go on. The first layer of gloves are standard patient care gloves. It's very important that the cuffs of the gown are pulled over the cuff of the glove. The second layer of gloves are long cuff purple nitrile. These should be worn over the standard patient care gloves. You should seal the long cuff purple nitro gloves to the gown using duct tape. Remember to create a tab at the end of the tape. This will make doffing the gloves easier. A third pair of standard patient care gloves should be worn when caring for the patient may contaminate the hands. Bleach wipes and hand sanitizer are available to decontaminate the long cuff purple nitro gloves as necessary. Aprons are also available in the room for high splash activities. If the patient's condition warrants, additional higher levels of personal protective equipment may be added to these guidelines. This may include items such as a Tyvek suit and powered air purifying respirators.